Okay, so let's get these rubber caps off of the uh, water block here. And now we're going to need to affix these hose clips onto our hose. Put the hose on to the water block here. All the way on. And then place the hose clip right over top. So now eyeball this and make sure that that's going to go into your liquid cooling system without again uh, creasing the, uh, the hose. So that looks about right. So I'm going to snip that off. And now once again we're going to use a hose clip on here and insert our Q connector. Okay, now don't connect that into your liquid cooling system just yet because we don't want any liquid coming out of the, uh, out of the water block. Now repeat those steps for the other side of the water block. Now once you've done that for both sides of the water block, we're ready to connect in our liquid cooling system. Double check that there are no kinks in the hose and that everything looks good. Make sure that you've connected all your cables especially the power for the liquid cooling system and now fill up your liquid cooling system with the coolant. So just grab a hold of George and fill up that reservoir and uh, we're just going to speed right through this. Moment of truth is always firing up your system for the first time with the liquid cooling system and you can see that the Big Water 780E has flow meters on both the uh, tubing as well as the front of the unit so you can tell that the liquid coolant is moving safely through your system and uh, that's a really great feature so that you can tell if there's any problems with the pump or anything just by visually inspecting it. Um, and then of course um, we can see that we've knocked all the bubbles out of the tubing here and we want to find out how well this is performing in our system so once our computer's fired up we can bring up the ESA software that you saw there or uh, what I want to do here is actually test the temperatures of my processor now. So with my V1 I did have an, an unfair advantage over anyone else using a quad-core processor with just the stock uh, fan because my V1 gave good performance at only 36 degrees Celsius. Now with this liquid cooling system you can see my processors are running at full force 100% uh, on each of my four cores and we're running at 32, 33 degrees Celsius here uh, even with 100% CPU usage uh, with our CPU burning. Um, so I've let that run for a few minutes just to really get a sense of whether we're getting better performance out of the liquid cooling system as opposed to my V1. And the V1 was an exceptional unit, but we can see that we're still persistently holding at at least 3 degrees Celsius below what my V1 fan system was giving me uh, in this system.